Yo, what's going on my friends of YouTube? This is Limbo Zone and we're back with some new Call of Duty news for you. So but that was like my cigarette up. I know it's a bad habit, but I should not be smoking. I've been smoking for 17 years and I am wanting to quit. So if you've got any tips to help me quit, then please feel free to share them with me. But we're here to talk about something completely different other than smoking today. Uh, this is just a quick gameplay of me going, uh, I mean, I'm not the best player. I think I went 33 for 6 on uh, standoff playing head shoot with some of my clan uh, clan buddies, uh, tearing up with the LMG. But other than that, we're here to talk about this new DLC. You've all heard the rumours of orientation, fake screenshots, screenshot fake screenshots of other names and PSD files or whatever people have created well it's rumored to believe that the new DLC pack should be getting announced sometime in April for release according to well that's what the speculations are uh, through some information that I found browsing the interwebs we it has come to my attention that the map pack uh, may be called Uprising. Some guy viewed the source code for the Call of Duty website, and he found the part with the link to the image for the Revolution, where it said DLC one forward slash Revolution. I will put the screenshots on screen so you can see the code and see uh, what part I'm referring to. Uh, but he done a search on it. And he found another one saying DLC to Uprising. So, is that going to be uh, the new map packs uh, that we, we can expect to get in the next uh, month or so? Uh, hopefully, we will get a new map pack soon because it's growing closer to that time of year where they release a new COD game in November. But... They did promise us four map packs for people who've got season passes. But other than that, uh, the map pack is rumoured to have two multiplayer maps. No weapon has been announced yet. Uh, a theme has been, a Black Ops theme, free, free Black Ops theme has been announced part of the DLC for your dashboards. Uh, according to what I've read, so don't quote me on that, please. Also, there's uh, rumours that the two maps are called, one's called Studio, and I think the other one was called Vertigo, and also a new zombie map uh, called Mob of the Dead, which some people are speculating that I could carry on, continue from the Call of the Dead one from previously Black Ops 1, which hopefully will be as good as that, but... The main purpose of this video is to bring this information for use for my viewers, my subscribers, anyone who wants to stop by and check my channel out. You're more than welcome to. Uh, but hopefully the wait will be over soon. Hopefully we will get to play these new maps soon. I am hoping they are going to be good. Uh, Treyarch are still saying that in future maps they are still going to try and make the environment react more with the players like on hydro where you've got the floodgates opening the train on express which everyone at least once in their cod life gets hit by it is a pain in the backside but uh, it, w it will be good to see what direction they take the maps into in the future especially with the, the new call of duty being so called next gen and with these new micro dance Transactions been introduced. If you want to know more about microtransactions, check out my description. I'll put a link to my microtransactions video in there for you. But other than that, I think I'll leave the video as it is. I would love to see your comments on the video on what you think of the name in the map pack. Uh, any more news you find out about it. I would love to see all that. But thank you for dropping by and I wish you all a good night.
Phase 2 online. Headquarters secure. Lightning strike coordinates received. Strike coordinates. Hostile UAV above. Objective almost complete. Don't quit now. Two located. Secure. UAV awaiting orders. All hostiles have been erased. Good job. <laughs> 